everyone, it's Casey. How are you? Um, I wanted to just come on today and give a little bit of an update on the expo and also do a box opening of a donation that I received last week for the expo. Um, I wanted to let you know that tickets are on sale now for attendees and I anticipate that it's going to be a little bit slow. Ticket sales are going to be slow as we are headed into the holidays and the end of this year. Um, the other part of that is that I am still getting vendors registered. So if you're interested in vending, please sign up as soon as possible or even let me know that your intention is to be there. It's um, difficult for attendees to buy tickets if they don't know who's going to be there. Um, so it's sort of a catch-22 situation where it's hard to sell tickets if we don't have vendors. Um, it's hard to have vendors if we don't have sell tickets. So um, if you intend to vend, I have some payment plans available so that you can lock in your spot um, without having to cover the full cost of the expo at this time. So please check that out. And if that doesn't even work for you, please just email me. I will put the email to the expo account below so that you can um, email me. I also have special deals for anyone who is going to teach a workshop. Um, so that may be an, an option. Um, otherwise, like I said, please let me know. It helps with ticket sales when we know who's gonna be there. And we can take vendors really close up until till the day of the event. I think, I think we have to be booked about a month before the event. So um, I've had a few people message me and say, are you taking vendors? Um, and unfortunately, we're not like some of the big expos where they're booked a year in advance. So yes, we have spaces. Please reach out if you're at all interested in being a vendor and we will figure out a way to make it work. Um, if you want to get your ticket now, there are also options to pay um, a deposit for your attendee ticket. That is an option a lot of people are taking advantage of um, to break up the cost. So check out that if you are just planning to be an attendee. Um, I'm currently booking um, the entertainment. I have one entertainer ready to go for the dessert social and I'm working on the entertainment for the dinner. If you attended the previous events, you know that the entertainment is a lot of fun and it's something I like to do as a surprise, so I'm not sure I'm gonna share um, what will be there this year, but um, just know that I'm working on that. Um, I do have a few people locked in to do workshops and a couple other things like a meetup. Um, but I haven't gotten their descriptions yet, and so I'm still working to get up the activities that will be there as well. I'm hoping to have as much as possible up by the end of the year. Um, so check that out. Probably follow on social media. That's where I'll be updating more in real time um, than, than checking on the website. So that's all in full swing. That all being said, um, we could always use, if you cannot attend, we can always use donations, whether that's um, a larger uh, item for the raffle or a prize or items for the goodie bags, which we'll be doing again this year. Um, the swag bags that we put together last year were incredible. They had great items in them. Um, so there's a lot of ways that you can participate if you can't come. So please let me know if there's anything you would like to get involved with for the event. Um, what else? I think that's it for the updates for now. Um, so let's get to this box opening. Okay, let's see what we have in this box. I was very excited when um, this company reached out to me to see if we could use a donation, which of course we said, yes, please. The more, the merrier. Came from Korea. I believe it's Korea. And it came from Latidol. I think that's how you pronounce it. Very cute little cards to go in the bags. It 
as you can see, I have all these flowers around um, because if you missed it, the theme of the expo is going to be Secret Garden, um, which is very exciting. And so I am working on um, some decor plans and some fun things to go along with the theme. So let's see who is in here. To alter the packaging too much so whoever gets this doll will um, look at how sweet and I don't know if down in the bottom here some accessories come with her or no oh yeah so down in the bottom, there are spare hands. There are some really cool eyes and some extra string, as well as a certificate. Very cute. So hopefully we'll have some wig makers at the expo or wig vendors at the expo this time so that you can pick up a wig for your little one if you win. Um, that's what happened to me at the 2019 Expo. I won a Connie Lowe doll, um, but the raffle, as you probably know if you've attended these events, is typically at the end of the event. And so when I won the doll, all the vendors had already been packing up for quite some time. And so I ran over to one of the wig vendors and was able to get a wig for her really quickly. So that's very exciting. That's our um, first doll donation that will be a part of the raffle. So someone will win this sweet little doll. And we're very thankful for Lati Doll to send this to us. It means a lot. Let's put her safely away. Now, um, the expo is June 2nd through the 4th, 2023. So please go over to the website. I'll put a link below as usual and get your ticket. Like I said, I know it's hard to buy a ticket when you don't know everything that's going to happen but I can promise you I am working my tail off to make sure, just like last year, um, it will be an event that you will be happy that you attended. So hope to see you there. Thank you to Lati Doll, and we'll see you all again soon. Bye.